It is very beautiful. Yeah, it is. What was it you were saying? It's the platonic ideal of fire? We tried last time to run the furnace without using any extra air supply, and it didn't work. Um, apparently the charcoal was blocking the air enough that the charcoal, the air just wasn't getting through. And so this time, we're going to try to take a leaf out of Primitive Technologies book and make an impeller. We've already made a housing for it out of cob, the same stuff that we made the furnace out of. And now I'm just reinforcing this thing with a little bit of pine pitch. And then the goal will be to run this smelt using only hand power and natural draft. Right now the pre-burn is going just fine with the natural draft, but uh, this thing is going to be a game changer, potentially. Alright Joseph, what's going on? So we made a blower, uh, more or less imitating the one that Primitive Technology made. And by the way, that thing he made is genius. That didn't happen in history. But uh, I, it, it's a way of bypassing the, the need for leather to have your bellows. And so we've more or less copied it. We've made it bigger so that it will be easier to get more air into the furnace. I'm having a hard time with this bearing block. It keeps moving. So as soon as that fits in place, it'll work. One of the secrets that's made this thing work is that we've put in a whole bunch of pine pitch on the blades, and that's partially to seal up the gaps, but mostly it just adds weight, and that means that we don't need a separate clay flywheel. So, I'm going to continue fiddling with this, try to get it to work. One of the goals that we were going to try to do with this smelt was to do it 100% primitive without an electric fan. We are not doing that. Um, the, in principle, the thing worked, but it needs a little bit more engineering. Maybe we'll try that again another day. But what we've done is hooked up an electric fan. We're adding in the ore that we collected down in southern Utah, and um, it appears to be working. What you want is a really high temperature and this furnace wasn't quite getting it with the natural draft and it also wasn't quite getting it with our little fan particularly since the fan kept having problems with the bearing sliding out of place or with the the fan blades hitting the sides of the of the housing so that thing in principle worked and in practice it kind of worked and we wanted it to work even more how about these sparks so the sparks that you're seeing here some of those are actually caused by iron itself burning and so that's a really good sign that we're hitting the right temperature these ones right here are just from the charcoal but occasionally you'll see really thin high temperature sparks maybe after the charcoal dust is gone and that means that metal inside is burning it looks a little bit like a sparkler on the fourth of july and that's a, an indication that we've hit above welding temperature smelting hazard Hair. Furnace one, hair zero. This part is probably the least pleasant bit about smelting. It takes way longer than you think. Okay, so furnace is blocked. 
Which means we're gonna move the air for just a second and then start poking things. Was it you're saying it's the platonic ideal of fire? Basically, yeah. Okay, um, I say we open this thing up. Okay. Oh boy. What are we seeing? Uh, I mean, what looks like a balloon, probably. Do, we have, do you want to take a log and smack it? Yeah, let's take a log and smack yeah. it. We can run through the coals afterwards with a magnet. Okay, that's uh, deforming very well. That's uh, that like planting like a pancake, dude. <laughs> so that's uh, starting to look pretty good. So we got a few more yeah. chunks out here. So let's see how are we going to separate them out. I guess I'll we'll just uh, try to slide them all over towards there. Approximately. Okay, let's uh, keep excavating. You're the brains. He's the muscle. And Floyd is the is the ballast. <laughs> okay, whoa. That's a... Okay. There's another chunk of balloon. Okay, that's like, that's deforming. It's like not shattered, it's deforming. Like, this is good news. Yeah. And I know we've kind of said that before, but it seems to be pancaking even, even better. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't want to get excited, but like there seems to be a lot of bloom in there. You never want to get excited. No nope, idea. You know, that's the great thing about always being pessimistic is almost always I'm pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Are you though? Yeah. Whenever anything good happens, I'm like, this is amazing. Is that allowed? It is, it is kind of a life hack, you can say. Okay. okay that a, that's a, another chunk of blue, okay. So we're gonna just be pulling out these chunks until the end of the world, it looks like. Oh, man. Oh my goodness, that looks gorgeous. almost makes me want to break up the furnace because I can see there's like just like huge amounts in there. That's a, that's a, shall I do that? Uh, you know, that would be really good. I bet that's blowing a lot of hot air towards me. Uh, no, it's actually just the radiant heat. It's just hot. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Woo! And now I know why we've always broken up the furnace. Can, can I, uh, can I get it going? Sure, in just a second. Yeah. Master, can you confirm that it's recording? It's, it's scouring me and burning me. Okay, that's like, no, like. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the mother load. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh. Okay. So some of it maybe is shattering. 
it's hard to tell. Quick question. Where are you smashing it? It's so warm. It's just barely out of view of the camera. Do you want me to tell you? Yes, this? yes, please. Okay. That is so warm. Actually, if you could scoot in a little bit closer, too. Yep. Let me uh, flip it over and try to get it all in the same pile. Get in there and dig around somewhere. I can do it. Want to. Okay. Man, Man, no, like, look at that. That is still. That's insanely warm looking. That's just. <laughs> okay, anytime you want to swap me on, I think. Okay. Well, you can see what you find. Okay, let's Gosh. And I'll do this. Oh, I know, right? I think I might let you take this over again. It's it's unreal. It's unreal. Like there is just an incomprehensible amount of heat coming off of that thing. Oh, more chunks of bloom. Oh, I can't even get, oh, ah. oh my gosh, my face is burning off. Be careful with that, you only get one. Oh, well, there is always plastic surgery. I could use some anyway, maybe. <laughs> There's some more bloom in there. Just a bit. Ah. Okay. Oh man. Okay, so the natural draft is working now. This really is hot as Hades in here. Ah! Ah! I can't get any closer to burn up my face. I think there's another chunk of bloom right there. Where? Uh, near the mouth. Oh, off I see to the that. left. Yep. Just a little bitty bitty bit. Gosh, with that magnet pickup tool, it'll be easy to find the, the loose bits. After. Consolidated all, yeah, it's gonna be beautiful. Oh uh, my gosh! Is there more in there? Um, Joseph, we haven't gotten five percent. No way. Yeah. Way? No way. Oh gosh. Okay, it's moving I don't just know a little how much bit. Better than that, I'm going to be able to do. I think. I think we may have brought a knife to a gunfight. I think I'm gonna go get a pry bar. Yeah. Because I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it moving at all from over here. Gosh, that's insane. It's enormous. Funny, this is the wood layer that was way under the uh There you go. Alright, I've got the orcs layer here. Did you see how big those are? Yep, yeah, watch Wait, wait, wait. Whoa! <laughs> Joseph, two big chunks came loose. Whoa. Give it a, give it a wally. Give it some welly. Uh oh. Uh, that might have been a piece of the furnace wall instead of bloom. You'll have to take a look at it when it comes out. <laughs> Will do. We'll, uh... There you go. Man, there's, there's quite a bit stuck to the walls. Oh. There's quite a bit of just assorted stuff stuck to the walls. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can you, can you... Yeah, I got it. Wow, that's a... Man, when it rains, it pours, right? That's what they say. Gosh, it feels so good to taste success. Well, we haven't cut it open yet. I mean, like... We pulled out stuff that looked like this before. And on at least two occasions, it's been iron. Iron-ish. Right. <sighs> Still pretty warm. Hot egg. Oh, toasty. Whoa! Hi, Bear. Still there? 
<laughs> All right. Good. Just, just checking. Just checking. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So Lots first of, of all, I swear this furnace is warmer than any of the furnaces we've made. I know it. It can't be right. We use the same fuel and the same airflow. Presumably. It just seems a lot hotter. Yeah. Um, Not to mention there's this massive bed of coals currently in between yeah, us right. and the furnace. This is, this is a true fact. Um, okay, so well, let's talk about the fact that we seem to have pulled out a bunch of iron. Right? So what, what is your assessment? We, we pulled out a balloon. We know that. Yes. So, so what, is, a, what is your assessment of the, the status of said balloon? You know, uh, we've been talking about how our pre previous iron smelts have made us just a little bit pessimistic. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, um, I am ecstatic with reservations. <laughs> and so I yeah. want to do spark tests and I want to see if it welds and I want to see if we actually have iron instead of just iron-ish, you know, slag. Same. At, at very least, one of the things that I'm thinking is that this is, in terms of sheer quantity, way more than we've ever pulled out of a furnace before. Yes. So whatever we have, we have a lot more of it. Yes. And that's really good, right? Like that to me, that can't be a bad sign. Unless it's more garbage, I guess, but even that, I mean, it's progress technically. It is. Yeah. So I want to see if, if this is actually iron, and if it is, then I will be I'm super excited, but I'm, I'm more reserved now. Um, compared to our last smelt, I am ecstatic. That one was a little bit of a downer. So one of the things we've learned is you really do need a very healthy air supply. Yes. You really do need a very healthy air supply. And one of the things I'm imagining is ancient world. Yeah. The raw amount of labor to grind the ore and then to pump the bellows. I mean, just those two steps. Let's ignore furnace construction and everything else. Just those two. Ignore making charcoal, which we done. Yeah. Um, hours and hours and hours. Whoever first did this was Tony Stark level nuts, <laughs> or Joseph Smith level inspired. So I mean, this is, this is where you're at. So next steps are going to be we, you know, you mentioned we can do a spark test, right? We can run an angle grinder or something against yep. it and see if sparks come out. And, and then see if it's shiny. Yeah, and then and then we know that we've got some metal in there. Uh -huh. um, other things is we're going to try to, like you said, you know, consolidate it, forge weld it into a chunk of metal instead of just a bloom. Yeah. Um, and then and then make stuff out of the iron. I mean, move on to step let's, two. Let's, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. <laughs> yeah. With reservations. <laughs> yeah. I can feel it burning me like through my Look at that smoke. That metallic sheen right there confirms that this is iron, which means that we succeeded. And that is tremendously exciting. We haven't forged it yet. We're going to have to get to that in a future video. But if you'd like to see that, please hit the subscribe button below. And we look forward to seeing you next time.